Hello everybody, welcome back to an Amiibo review and today we have the Wii Fit Trainer and uh, the most, well, the worst in my opinion Amiibo produce uh, production wise. Um, so first of all let's get into uh, the details of the Amiibo. Well the Amiibo is very very slim, it's uh, very very fragile. I can tell you, um, it has to stand on, like, it has to have an additional base just to be able to stand, which in my opinion is very, very bad. Um, the details on the Amiibo itself are good, but, uh, yeah, as I said, production-wise, it's way too thin. And we've seen thin characters like Samus uh, not being built so, well, how to put it, uh, fragile because i'm afraid that this one will fall off a ledge and, and just die seriously uh, her arms are so thin look at like i have thin fingers but look at this they're like triple the size four times the size of her arm so it's not even more than i would say half a centimeter and that's way too thin uh, another thing that I really dislike are that you can see her eyes, which, uh, as you may have noticed, the Wii Fit Trainer does not have uh, distingu uh, distinguished eyes. She is, um, yeah, she's like half faceless. Like you can't see her eyes, you can see anything except for her uh, well, neutral facial ex expression. Uh, we have. Uh, yeah, yoga outfit, I don't know, her sports suit, more like that. Uh, and even the little wee fit uh, printed on her. So that's going for her. Her hair detail is okay. I wouldn't say it's the greatest, but you have a few hairlines. Uh, we had other amiibos where it was, uh, well, a bit better. The fingers are very good. The toes are very good produced. Well, they're a bit long. Like, look at those toes. My god. Holy shit. Now I see that. What are those toes? Well, uh, dead ass. Also quite good. No, but seriously, she, in theory, she's a good producer. I mean, well, you can even see uh, the detail on her throat. Like, uh, she's a good producer, Amiibo, in theory, but the part that she's very thin really, really destroys that. And, um, I mean, yes, she is the most sporty character in uh, the entire history of Nintendo, probably. And uh, she has to look athletic. But the thing is, um, even though she looks athletic, you can make her bigger and not destroy the athletic outfit. Like, uh, yeah, you, you don't have to make her, like, I don't know, she looks sickly thin. She doesn't look healthy thin. But that's just me. Uh, also, I would have been very, very happy, and this is one of the few Amiibos where I think uh, they should have made an alternate uh, Amiibo version of her, just with the male one. Uh, because I always, in, in Smash 4, I play the male uh, Wii Fit Trainer, I find him cooler than her. And uh, I think, yeah, she should have been, uh, like, there should have been variations of Amiibos, but... That's just wish thinking, and maybe, maybe, maybe at the end, when all characters are out, uh, we will see another uh, amiibo wave of all of the alternate costumes, like not the colors or something like that, but the costumes. Like uh, for Oluma later on, we can see all for her. We can see uh, well the male wave trainer, and for the Cooperlings, uh, we can also see amiibos. But yeah. That's basically it for today, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.